back like we never left, BDA, and this episode consisted of Vegeta attempting to cook. We have Goku sleep driving a tractor, and we also had Krillin, Krillin asking Goku to punch him in the face. The best part of the episode by far for me was listening to Krillin talk because that is Luffy's voice actor, so that was the best part of the episode for me. The other parts were okay, but for the most part, it was just like, meh, it was alright. We had Bulma. And Bulma, the whole time, she's whining and dining Whis. Basically, she's bringing Whis to her side, saying, Listen, yo, when you guys come back, if you guys come back, I want you to remember where you got all these tasty treats from. I was the one who made this happen. So put in a good word with beers for us, okay? Goku, he is going through it right now because he wants to train, and Chi-Chi won't let him. He has to be working, and he's sleep working, all right? Currently comes over to Goku, he's like, Man, Goku, we've been through a lot. We, we started training together and you have surpassed me, clearly, you're so much stronger, so I want you to hit me in the face. If there's somebody that I know that's stronger than me, that's clearly stronger than me, I would not ask them to hit me in the face. I just would not do that. That, just, that doesn't make sense. It's going to hurt. Even Goku said it. You know it's going to hurt, right? He's like, it's fine. It's, it's cool, man. Goku socks him in the face. Needless to say, his hand is imprinted on his face and it was cool seeing Android 18 there just like listen man you, you can't be doing this why would you ask Goku in the face and that was a cool moment seeing Android 18 because we know how Android 18 used to be right the rest of the episode consisted of Vegeta attempting to woo Whis so that Whis could train him because he finds out that Whis is actually Beerus's teacher and he's like oh crap this is an opportunity that I can use to surpass Goku. Which says, I know you want to surpass Son Goku, but you can't do that even with the way you're training right now. You can train your hardest, you won't surpass him. What you need to do is better control your key. So that was an indication that Vegeta took that opportunity to kind of woo Whis to train him. He goes through all these restaurants, right? And he finds all these places that Whis could possibly eat, and Bulma's taking him everywhere. But the thing that sways him, which is funny, is like cup noodles, right? Cup ramen. And Wiz is in love with that. He's like, oh, you just have to add hot water. Bulma, how could you keep this from me? And Bulma's basically saying, listen, I was saving that as a trump card. Vegeta, you idiot. Vegeta's on his way to go train with Wiz. Um, and most likely Beerus as well. Vegeta, um, he has a new suit. And that's basically the gist of the episode. I would say it was an okay episode. Like I said, the best part is Krillin talk because it's Luffy's voice actor. Other than that, eh, it's okay. It's still a transition episode. We're in transition, okay? And right now, it's, it seems like it's going to the resurrection of F part of this. And, um, I, you know, Resurrection of F was a great movie, but it's going to be worse, all right? It's going to be worse animation, worse art. So I'm not sure how much I'm looking forward to that. Let me know what you thought about the episode. I thought, what do you think about the Vegeta and his cooking attempts? What do you think about Goku not being able to train? Also, do you think Bulma is has something going on with Whis? You know? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like if you did, comment. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Have a good day, people.